Hello everyone, so to the next year, welcome back in another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. Let's run some benchmark and see what is the performance of this 812X chip. So yes, you can download some apps such as DaVinci Resolve, photo editing apps such as Photoshop, Lightroom and edit on this thing pretty smoothly. I did this in the past and it was quite nice. If you want to see a video of me editing some videos here on this iPad in DaVinci Resolve, let me know in the comment section, I will do it. But today let's launch the under the benchmark and let's see what's the score. So last time when I put this thing to the test, I had a score of 1,017,388 points, so not bad. But today uh, we're gonna just launch this thing again and let me just remove all the apps from the memory here so we can smoothly run it onto the benchmark and let's test again so it's running see you in a while okay and here we have it guys already completed the app shows us the score of 1,097,973 points, so that's nice. We've got we've got roughly 300 points when it comes to the CPU performance. Uh, you can see how it all breaks down to each of the category. The GPU 459,000, the memory 153,000. This is how it all looks like, breaks down. And lastly, the UX of 184,818. So that's it. You can see the specification here. We've got Apple brand, iPad Pro 11 inch. It's currently running on the iPad OS 16.6.1. And here is some more information. So this is how it compares to other iPads and Apple devices. You can see that the newest iPad 6 12.9 inch is the leader here with the score of 2,167,000 points. So it's almost like two times the performance of this 2018 iPad. And then we also have the iPad 4 11 inch, iPad Pro 5, iPad Pro 3, iPad Air, iPhone 15 Pro. And below that on the 22nd place, we have our iPad Pro 11 inch 2018 with the score score of around 1,100,000 points so that's interesting we are below the iPhone 13 Pro as you can see but we're still better than the iPad 4 and the iPhone 12 SE third generation so this is how it compares okay so that's it as for today's video if you want to see more content with iPad Pro 2018 11 inch let me know in the comment section I will record some videos and uh, yeah if you have any questions write it down in the comment section I will also answer you and see you in the next video. Bye!